insecurity. Clarice called for immediate release and restatement of Abakiri. How? So, what do they want him to do? Do they still want him to go after criminals? Would they really take him serious again when he's being proved of criminal activities? Well, maybe we just hear what they, they talk and how they will fit achieve this one. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The national clerics of the the national clerics of bishops and imams has called for the immediate release and restatement of deputy commissioner of police and head of the IGP intelligence response team Habakiari, declaring it is for the interest of national security. The group stated this in Abuja in a press conference where they deployed the, the sparks of insecurity in the country. Bishop Lawrence Ninja, okay, Ninja, who addressed the media, said it was important for President Bola Tinubu to listen to the cry of the people and act in the interest of the nation. He said Kiari, who is the Deputy Commissioner of Police and the head of the IGP Intelligence Response Team, took the fight against kidnapping and other crimes to them that brought sanity to the country. He said only Kiari knows the strategy and approach that could be adopted to end insecurity, which has become so pervasive and is ravaging the, the land. He said, Nigeria is faced with more security challenges today than ever in our history, which ranges from the Boko Haram insurgency, armed militancy, kidnapping, cattle wrestling, illegal mining, and mineral activities, smuggling, nomadic breeders, and farmers' crisis and robbery across the country. Other security challenges facing the nation include armed militancy, oil theft, and illegal refinery, among others, as consigned citizens of this great nation. We want to say boldly that the absence of Super Cop DCP Abakiari in Nigerian security architecture has brought Nigeria to this ugly security challenge. For this statement, some people may want to ask, who is Abakiari in Nigeria security architecture? Our answer to this question is that within the period Abakiari's selfless service to the nations, lots of enemies of Nigeria or Nigerian, deadly criminal kink, kidnap campaigns were arrested. I think this credit must go to DCP Abakiari, okay, and the team whose dogged effort led to the arrest of over 100 criminal kingpins, among whom was arrest, who were arrest of uh, Nigeria's most notorious kingpin, uh, Bilonia kidnapper, Chuku, Chuku Dumeme. Onwa Madike, aka Evans in Lagos State, and his uh, gang members. Arrests of the killers of the former chief of defense staff, CDS, Her Masha, Ales uh, Bade, retired along Kefi, uh, Gitata, Kaduna Road, and arrest of the most wanted Boko Haram commander, Umau, Adum Maliki, and eight of his terrorist gang members. Some other high-profile arrests were arrest of Boko Haram terrorists, gang members responsible for the kidnap of the Chibok school girls in 2014 and also responsible for a series of suicide bombers, severe attacks and ambush against security agents in Boronu, Yobe, and Adamawa State. 
capturing of the most deadly kidnapper in the history of Nigeria, Henry Chibuzo, aka Vampire, in Wari, Imo State, and his gang members, Inowere, please pardon me, Inowere, Imo State, and his gang members under persecution, and the arrest of the deadly of uh, bank robbers that invaded of a town, Quara State, and robbed five commercial banks. The gang also murdered far, uh, over 31 innocent Nigerians, making it the deadliest bank robbery in the history of Nigeria. The arrest of Boko Haram terrorist commanders who bombed Naya Naya and Kuje areas of Abuja 2015, where many innocent citizens died. The arrest of uh, Ugon Gorilla and his gang in Port Haikot, which ended pipeline bombings by the Niger Delta Avengers. Group arrest of the killers of Colonel Yunasa in Kaduna, a serving colonel in the Nigerian Army. A colonel, please, a serving colonel in the Nigerian Army. The arrest of Niger Delta militants who came to blow up third mainland bridge in Lagos 2016 and recovered over 100 explosive arrests of honestly okay guys so what they are just trying to say here is that Abba Kiari is the only person who can do the job you want to call someone who is a criminal back is he not a criminal because he's facing a criminal case now how now look this thing Abba Kiari we we have over uh, to FBI to face, will be hand over to FBI to face investigation concerning uh, his internet uh, fraudulent. If he's innocent, let FBI release him without any delay. But if he finds guilty, he will face the law. Yes. So asking him to come out now when his case is still on, he gets us to be. Do you think those people he will go after will respect him or they will take his case serious? Make we they think shall before we we make mistakes. I beg, make a drop out for you. Hannah see this matter. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.